some of these side quests just to get these out the way let's go to um let's go to the south lane oh i didn't unlock none of this yet well i need to get here anyway this is also uh So I lowered my settings, I put it on 60 frames per second and I put everything on uh, on high, see if it uh, it speeds up. I mean, so far, so good. Not really helping the load times go any faster. I probably have to put everything down to medium. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the Mending Charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Okay. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. Oh, First. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was I before I, I invented blue powder. Get to those. Uh, collect a flying broken statue. What? This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelio. Leviosa. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say, I've seen something. Ah. 
Lumos. Accio. Levioso. Flying statue. Is it another one somewhere around here? Revelio. Tell me to collect the flying statue. Page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. We need to open up the box. Revelio. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game, and if you lose, so. they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Gobstones sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers, ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone... Perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. Okay, whatever she was on. Now, what's this? Lumos. Akio. Lumos. I must not be able to do anything. There ain't no gobs on there. Right, here we are. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. A 
I crossed the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that Prepare. broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a gentle mother thought it too accurate okay, and okay. lashed out. Prepare. Something quite satisfying about using the mending charm, isn't there? I'm not gonna move my damn camera from right here to over. No, no, I gotta find a good place to put it. Stones. did this already. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeat experience. Yeah, let's go. I could lower my my sentence again. Maybe put it down to medium.
gonna try to turn it down here. But if I put things on medium, it'll probably help. Even with a 350 Ti, I probably just gotta get a new graphics card, like a 380 or something. Just to get it out the way. Let's see. It's all quality. Um, that's fine. Let's put everything to medium. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbeer in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient ruins. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Wait a minute, can I just take it all down? I thought I was going to be able to pull it down. is beautiful this time of year. The, uh, Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh. I do not mind the cold so much, but it's hard taking some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Happens if I zap him. Damn, don't work. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. So, so she wanted us to cook bugs. That's rich. Look, from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. What's that? I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley it's mentioned that you knew the area, case. since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, Lumos. much can be gleaned outside. I thought I'd be able to pull him somewhere or something. Probably can, I probably gotta aim for him. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? Oh, what's this? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring oh, helped me to get some quite of this. Oh. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will feel too. We'll do something for me. I don't know what it is, but we ain't passing them no crystals. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. 
Is everything all right, sir? Huh? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. Akion. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck Lumos. to both of you. <gasps> Poor Mr. Moon. We'll make him drop it. I think he had What's too much way? fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in oh, such yeah, a state. <laughs> Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Hogs need. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Is it worth the cost of uh, what about some weed? Professor Weasley said that weed. you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. completely different section. Oh, shot. Tools and scrolls. Potions. The fireworks that popped up on this one. This fireworks. Okay. So we got statues, 55 field guide pages. There's some collection chests that I probably can't get just yet. Well, let's go to the potion shop. Do we have anything that's nearby? Some of the scrolls is right here. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. 
I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Mm -hmm. so. If you're so. interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Base car. Very for the scarf. They don't have no magical properties. They ain't really worth getting right now. To the next one. Okay, let's go. We're outside. Revelio. flying out there. Hold on. I'm just gonna go. Let's just run out of the way. Lumos. be right with ah it's you um just a moment please ah uh, mm, hello sir i'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes uh, about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerbold olivander's the name but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, ah, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, 
Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another awesome. wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Mm. Not only got rid of that. Let's see. Let's What's that cat again? Okay, what's the next place we went to? Rebellion. Lumos. Accio. Little sister. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Dark Sun Hat. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Get 
these. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Stone on it or river bank, would it? Let's see. Can we go in it? Okay. Rebellion. Yes, I, gotta, I guess I gotta just do something there. Accio! Rebellion! There's something up. It's, it's, it's probably something I'm gonna later on. I don't like those chefs.
Oh, let's get defense, okay. What's this? Oh, oh, we're supposed to find oh I gotta be level five to use it, okay. Defense. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts as a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Mm -hmm. Better go and find Matty. Yeah. Rich, I'm just going to go on. Rebellion. These pages. Oh, and they're going another one. Speaking of, speaking of the devil, right there. Speaking, there it is. She's in the town circle. Rebellion. Is anything else here? We can't pick lock shit. Never mind. Oh, so they got like several. Rebellion. They got like separate ones in the in the town. I thought they had ones in like. Supposed to go down there. Yeah, I just thought. All the so Hogsmeade in the countryside and Hogsmeade in the town, they both have their own set of pages. Ah, oh, I have another one right there. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one.
trying to beat him in his own game. And let him Take do more of this. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. It's the all right. We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair on. I will see what's happening. <sighs> Officer Singer to worry about. Rebellion. Repair. I think that's it. It's in the building. We were just talking about you. Take me some of this Tito. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Robes. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. So if I can walk uh, around now, like now let's try this off the shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh yeah, we are just 
discovered this. I don't want to. Oh, okay. an extraordinary introduction to Holtzmeet. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. Revelio. I sell even more battle-worthy items. 